Now in order to do this part of the question what I've done is I've sketched the circle and we know that the circle has a centre at 3 minus 2 and we're told the points P and Q lie on the circumference here, they lie on the circle. P has coordinates minus 1, 1 and Q has coordinates 7 minus 5. And OK, P and Q lie on the circumference of the circle but the question is, is PQ a diameter? Well the only way that we're going to figure that out very easily is if we find the midpoint between P and Q and then if it turns out to be the centre of the circle with coordinates 3 minus 2 then we know that PQ must be a diameter. OK, so that's how we're going to do the problem. We're going to find the midpoint of PQ. So we'll just put this down here, midpoint of PQ. And how do we find the midpoint? Well, what you need to do is you do the mean of the x-coordinates and the mean of the y-coordinates. In other words, you add the x-coordinates together, that's minus 1 here, plus 7. So let's just show the working, minus 1 add 7, and it's divided by 2, the mean of the x-coordinates. Then you've got to do the same for the y-coordinates. You've got 1 added to minus 5. So you've got 1 plus minus 5, and that's all divided by 2. And what do we have here? Minus 1 add 7 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 1 add minus 5 is minus 4 divided by 2, and you've got minus 2. And voila, there you go. We have the center coordinates. So we need to just write a conclusion now. So we could say something like, uh, uh, which is the center, which is the center, okay, of the circle. And so therefore, PQ must be a diameter. All right, and that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.